Is it an anteater? A hippo? No. It's a tapir. More specifically, a Malayan tapir. Tapirus indicus. Being the closest relatives of rhinos and horses, tapirs are the rare mammal that people get often confused of. The creature has been around since the Ecocene period, which was about 33 to 56 million years ago, and have survived the waves of extinction as opposed to some other animals. In the entire world, there's only four living species of tapir. In the Asia, the one and only species is Malayan tapir. The Malayan tapir grows in between 1.8 to 2.5 meters in length. It stands 90 to 110 cm tall. It typically weighs between 250 to 320 kgs. The females are usually larger than the males. Like other tapi species, it has a small stubby tail and a long flexible proboxis. Malayan tapis have four toes on the forefeet and three toes on the hind feet, each of the which ends in a hoof. The fourth toe on the each of the four feet does not touch the ground. The footprint shows the imprints of three digits. They rather have a poor eyesight but excellent hearing and sense of smell. Malayan tapis are found in rainforests from southern Thailand and southern Myanmar through the Malayan Peninsula as well as the Indonesian island of Sumatra. Young tapis of all species have brown hair with white stripes and spots, a pattern that enables them to hide effectively in the forest. The gestation period of the Malayan tapir is about 390 to 395 days, where breeding typically occurs in April, May or June, and females generally produce one calf every two years. Malayan tapirs can live up to 30 years both in the wild and in the captivity. The world's first and only twin birth record of a Malay tapir took place in Sukai Dusun Tapir Conservation Centre, Malaysia, in 2009. The time between the birth of the two calves was 12.5 days, which suggested the Malayan tapir may have the ability to delay pregnancy. However, twin births has never been recorded in the wild. Tapirs are primarily solitary creatures, marking out large tracts of land as their territory though these areas usually overlap with those other individuals. Tapis mark out the territories by spraying urines on plants, and they often follow distinct paths. They are exclusively herbivores. The animal forages for tender shoots and leaves. Malayan tapir plays a huge role in maintaining the biodiversity of the tropical ecosystem. They are known as the umbrella species that indirectly protects other species such as monkeys, deers, wildcats, and many other varieties of reptiles and plants. Without Malayan tapirs, the life cycle in the rainforest will lose its balance and the many species will topple as a result. Malayan tapirs communicate with high-pitched squeaks and whistles. A small number of melanistic all-black Malayan tapir have been observed. In 2000, two melanistic tapirs were observed during a study of tigers in Jerangal Forest Reserve in Malaysia. The cause of this variation may be a genetic abnormality similar to of that a black panther that appears in population of spotted leopard and spotted jaguars. In 1996, the Malayan tapir is classified as vulnerable by the IUCN. However, currently this species is endangered due to its past and ongoing population decline estimated from the loss of available habitat, fragmentation of remaining habitat, and increasing loss of individuals due to hunting, road kills, and bycatches by snare hunters. Tapes population have declined by well over 50% in Thailand and Malaysia, whereas it is suspected 
to be slightly less than 50% in Sumatra in these past three generations, which is 36 years. Driven primarily by large-scale conversion of tapir habitat to palm oil plantation and other human-dominated land use, habitat deconstruction and fragmentation is the primary threat. Large-scale deforestation, including illegal logging for timbers, is a major source of habitat loss. The growth of palm oil plantations is also a major factor in habitat loss. Hunting is also on the rise as other large prey species in the area are reduced in numbers. In recent decades, Malaysia had one of the highest rates of deforestation in the world. Tapirus indicus are shy animal and appear to be highly sensitive to forest fragmentation. Combined with the massive expansion of the road network, this has taken its toll on unsuspecting tapis. In fact, the Malayan tapis is easy target for speeding vehicles due to its poor eyesight. Last January, in the southern state of Johor in Malaysia, it was reported that three tapis were found dead in a span of just one month due to road kills. According to Malaysian Department of Wildlife and National Parks, Perihilitan, in 2017, a total of 25 tapis died after being hit by vehicles. Malayan tapir have few predators, only tigers and Asian wild dogs called dolls present a threat to them. The greatest predators are humans. Poachers are typically opportunists. While tiger are the main target, they don't hesitate to capture other animals if they are found trapped and sell them for bushmeat. There have been a number of reports where Malayan tapis have accidentally killed by hunters or poachers. The population on Sumatra continues to decline due to the extensive loss of habitat, accidental and deliberate trapping for meat and removal of animals for zoo in Indonesia. To date, there is no accurate population estimate of tapis in Sumatra, but it is anticipated to be below 400 to 500 adult individuals. In Thailand, 40% of the remaining forest is outside protected areas. While forest loss continues in Thailand, forests in protected areas remain relatively stable in size and composition to other countries because of the ban on commercial logging that has been placed since 1989. For this reason, while tapis may indeed be threatened in general forest loss, population in Thailand are probably more stable. Meanwhile, only 5% of Myanmar's land area is protected forest. The tapir population in Malaysia and southern Thailand is considered the largest and most resilient. Several recent studies using various methodologies conclude that the population in Malaysia ranges from approximately 1,300 to 1,700 individuals. In Malaysia, tapis are found in virtually all types of forests. Sometimes it even ventures into plantation and urban areas, although this seems to be caused by basic wandering or possibly displaced by arrival individuals. Displaced animals are the animals that come out of the forest area and into the village, plantation, roads, and most often end up dead or severely injured. The number of displaced animals from 2006 to 2010 reached 142 individuals, average of more than three deaths per year, with most being returned into the wild and 17 died. Fortunately, the tide is slowly turning in the favour of the Malayan Tapir. Malayan Tapir conservation project set up in 2008 has been actively contributing to the Tapir conservation in Malaysia. Perili Tan built Malaysia's first Tapir conservation centre. This conservation centre will focus on tapir rehabilitation and breeding program. It will also encourage research collaboration from local and international researchers to better guide conservation efforts. And there is a World Tapir Day on 27th April every year. In conclusion, the Malayan tapir isn't as highly valued even in their own country. In Malaysia, the government have not been paying attention to the living environment of the Malayan tapir as well as their remaining quantities. Ironically, Malaysian government actually spent more than 30.2 million Malaysian ringgit since 2014 to build a special panda house in the National Zoo, 
with an additional cost of 60,000 Malaysian Ringgit every month to feed and maintain all the pandas. All of this amount could have been spent on their own country's unique species. Despite of being the real master of this land, Malay and Tapir are facing difficulty in the struggles for recognition. Almost most of them really don't know how to treat this gentle Tapir. Because they don't have any sort of proper knowledge towards this tapir. I hope you like this video and hopefully this video will shed some light into the current situation of the Malayan tapirs. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to share it. Thank you.